Come one, come all, to the most phenomenal, most extraordinary, most unimaginable puppet show you've ever experienced. Prepare for an astonishing adventure, full of mystery, full of danger, and full of artistry, meant to astound the eye and capture the human soul. The name's Professor Gregorius T. Oswald. But my friends, and we're all friends here, call me G. Today's fantastical tale is the perilous journey of a boy named Kutono. What is up guys, gals and minions? It is me, Noir Proxy, and as you can see here, we're about to jump into Puppeteer. Again, I've been so, so, so anticipating for so long. When I saw it E3 the first time when they showed that trailer at the PlayStation conference, I fell instantly in love. It looks so awesome. It's kind of like a CGI side-scroller, but with like a feeling of little big planet and stuff like that. It looks so awesome though. But anyway, enough of me chatting. Let's jump into this. Puppeteer, here we go. Welcome to the magical theater of the strange and fantastic. Please do remember to turn off your mobile phones. Nobody least of all me wants to hear your showy ringtone during our stupendous show. So, it seems that we have two choices here. We can play one player or two players. Now, obviously, we're going to do a solo run first. Let's give this a go. One player. I'm curious to see what the second character looks like, whether it's like a girl or a boy, or if it's just like a color swap, maybe? I'm not entirely sure. Start the game. Awesome. Once upon a time, before everything went to rack and ruin, the moon realm was ruled by a beautiful goddess. But then... Little Bear, for whom the Moon Goddess had shown nothing but love, stole two of his mistress's precious possessions. The Black Moonstone and a magic pair of scissors known as Calibrus. After declaring himself Moon Bear King, he invaded the Goddess's castle, smashed the White Moonstone to pieces... Once upon a time, I once upon a now, this is my Moon so just get to the part where I sound good. <laughs> right. Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Wasn't everyone so very wowed when the moon goddess was obliterated? Wasn't it just great that the impressive moon bear king uh, 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 gave a piece of the white moonstone to each of his generals, screwing over the moon at large? Oh, yes. The next three years were something special. Ah. <sighs> Now, where do I begin? He was the Moon Realm's ruthless new king, and intended to keep it that way. So night after night he spirited away the souls of children and locked them inside wooden puppets who were doomed to defend Castle Grizzlestaff. And while tonight was no exception, it would prove to be quite exceptional. Oh, the poor dearie. Look, Ying Yang, another day, another soul. Poor indeed. You're as bad as the tyrant. How many of these children are you planning to parade off to certain mutilation before you realize you're wasting your time? One more, and then another after that. As many as it takes me to get my hands on Calibrus. <laughs> That's nice. Meet our hapless hero, who's just blitzed back to life, firmly in the Moonbear King's clutches. Kutaro. Kutaro. Your soul was summoned here at my behest. Kutaro, will you be my friend? Howls to the bitter end. <laughs> oh my goodness, a bum 
hole. He ate my hat! Lovely. Another dunce who left his head in the moon bear king's belly. Listen, you're going to drop dead if you go without a head. And I'll be the one stuck with cleanup. Come on, let's find something else you can use. A substitute head. Okay, so it seems I have a flying cat helping me how to find stuff. Right stick to search. Oh, it's around in there. I see, so we use the round stick to kind of control the cat, aka the spotlight. We can actually find things. So what's this over here? Right? Oh, R2 to investigate. It's a head. Perhaps I'll just help myself. Ooh, let's see what the cat can do. <laughs> this should do nothing. Hey, you're all set. Remember those head pots. They may be weird, but they flap around with lots of useful heads. But one little touch, and they'll drop their stash. You know, a new kid on the chopping block like you ought to have a couple of noggins at least. Can't take any chances. <sighs> okay, interesting. Oh wait, there's a spider there, minions. So we must use Yin Yang to investigate again. Cool. Oh. There's another one, see? Just like I said. Oh, a different head. A spider head. Lost it. What am I doing wrong? Am I not powerful enough? Quick, pick up now. This is extremely important. One false move, and those heads of yours will tumble right off your shoulders. If you don't grab them right away, their magic will fade and... No more head. So remember, if you lose your head, pick it up post-haste. <laughs> Oh, and one other thing. Moon sparkles! <laughs> Here, I'll show you. Moon sparkles? What's that? Show me, Yin Yang! R2. Voila! These are moon sparkles. Collect 100, and you'll be able to magically come back to life, even if you do lose all your heads. Let's keep looking. Okay, then. So it seems that my heads are basically my life, so if I lose all my heads, then I die. But do the heads have any special abilities? Maybe like spider can shoot webs? I'm not entirely sure, I'm sure we'll find out later on. Or maybe just one of those things where it's like Little Big Planet, where it kind of has, you know, different looks, adding variety to the aesthetics, maybe. Let's see what Yin Yang finds inside this box. Show me your secrets, box! Oh, more little moon things! There, the witch's bloomers! Oh, yeah, underpants! I don't like underpants. Oh wait, I'll check his cage next. Oh, even more moon sparkles. I love moon sparkles. There we go. Oh, oh, swords. Maybe I can get a weapon. What about that one, Ming Yang? More moon sparkles, yummy, yummy. They look like they may taste of like lemon sherbet. <laughs> I don't know. Anyone else think that? Just me? Oh, okay. Oh, look, little friend. Wait, come Keep back. Keep your eyes peeled for moon sparkles if you want to stay alive. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll listen to that. Oh, that moon bear king is always angry. Yeah. Oh, look there. You see that head symbol? Listen, every head has a little bit of magic to it. They react to places and objects that resemble them. Oh, why don't you just give it a try? Here, first choose the right head. Okay, so I've got my skull head. That's done, right? Let's now, the use the head's meow jig. The head's meow jig. Down button. Oh, I did a little dancey dance. Oh, thank you. Keep an eye out for those head symbols. Anything could happen. <laughs> Look at that. No wonder they're so skinny. <laughs> Make yourself at home. Go and bring it to me! You'd better follow that fork. The witch doesn't take kindly to long waits. I 
Harry! Watch that feisty fork! It's as wicked as the witch! Must follow the fork! Here we go, minions! Ow! Give me my hand! Okay, I've got my hand by me, no one worry, no one panic. Pick that up quick. No more heads means no more you. Don't deny me the fork! Pass through that shimmering gateway to proceed to the back of the kitchen. Now, make no mistake, Kutaro was not alone in his plight. The kitchen was already starved by unfortunates whom the Moon Bear King had plucked from their beds. I want the fork! Give me the goddamn fork! <sighs> Minions, come on, tell me what do you think to this game so far? Puppeteer! I have to say, this is pretty freaking awesome. I'm loving it so far. I love the whole thing where it's kind of like you're looking through the perspective of the audience, but you're still controlling the puppet. It's really cool. I love it. But anyway, Minions, let's continue onwards. These children had been charged with keeping the fickle king fed, and it was a miserably hopeless task. After all, his appetite was as vast and insatiable as his lust for power. Stop the bacon! Therefore, there's this thing about fire and puppets. <laughs> all those moon sparkles, you don't want to toast yourself grabbing them. But how do I get them? Oh, wait, look! It's got a... Oh, wait, oh, I see, I see! Give me my hand! <laughs> Nearly lost my head there, minions. It seems that the, the frying pan goes cold and then hot. So as you'll see here in a second... There we go, it's all burning now, so let's wait for it to cool down. Don't want to roast my tootsies. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seems we've got two left. Climb on the thing quickly. Whoa, that was close. Don't want to burn my buttocks. Right, see if we can get the last two moon sparkles, then we can continue onwards. That's one, two, get out of there. Goodbye, egg. Imagine being one of these tykes and spending dusk till dawn getting kneaded and grated, peeled and parboiled, marinated, melted, minced and mashed. Or, just zested, followed by a light raising. Oh, jeez. Roll out of the way. There we go to safety. Minions, we're kicking this game's butt cheeks. A sandwich! Mm, I smell something delicious. The witch couldn't have made it. Is that a ham sandwich, Minions? You know how much I love ham sandwiches. And that was my lunch. Oh, wait. There's a spark of magic in every head. You got any ideas? I have a burger for a head. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I do this action then. Oh my goodness, quarter pound with cheese. Oh. Hmm, head, bread. Oh, try it on that sandwich. Oh, minions, the almighty ham sandwich. We've been waiting for one of these in the game. Let's see what happens when I try on this then. There's that head symbol again. And activate. See how using your head can change the world? And I do mean that quite literally. Give me the moon sparkles! There we go, yummy moon sparkles. We got the minions, don't worry. Oh, wait, there's another one left. I love collecting the. No! I missed out on moon sparkle. Never mind. The witch, in case you're wondering, was a singularly screwy sorceress by the name of Esma Potts. You'd think someone that gifted with a cauldron would know a thing or two about cooking. And you'd be wrong. Is there are moon sparkles hidden up above these little pot lids. Remember that when you play through this. Ooh, there we go, now jump. Oh my goodness, awesome. We're doing this, minions. Now, one thing to remember is if you want to change hands, just use the D-pad as you saw in the instructionals on the screen. So there we can have skull, spider, or burger. Minions, if you were a puppet, what kind of head would you have? Comment section below. I would love to know. But anyway, let's continue onwards. Goodbye, lobsters. Don't burn too much. As for Kutaro's catty companion, name of Yin Yang, he used to be the moon goddess's faithful feline. One might say his current mistress was a step down in some regard. Okay, there we go, Ming. So as you saw that I recollected the burger head inside that pot, but it gave me moon sparkles. So it's kind of one of those things where if you've already collected it, it'll just give you points then, I guess. I think I also collected an extra life, which is pretty awesome. Oh, was that what the pot was? I'm not entirely sure. Jump up here a second. Give me that little spoon sparkle. Thank you, lobsters. See, the lobsters are on our team minions, so don't forget that. Oh, whoa, 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 don't fall in the fire. Don't fall in the fire. Okay, so there's the checkpoint over there. Let's jump into that, and away we go. Watch out for the vegetables. In this kitchen, the cook is a cook, and the squash are out to squish. 
Damn you, Sprouts! I knew there was always something up with those greens minions. Your parents tell you to eat them, but they were always up to something. Oh my goodness. But anyway, means, I hope you enjoyed this adventure so far in Puppeteer. What do you think to Kutsuro? What do you think to the Burger Heads? I would love to know. But anyway, remember to join me now if you've not sponsored any giveaways, and definitely check out the Proximus Facebook page for more giveaways, competitions, and just awesome, awesome updates. I will see you guys, girls, and minions next time. Ciao.